Hey everybody, this is Video Bob, and I've got another cool review of a thing I just picked up. I got this as a birthday gift uh, from my buddy Omar got this for me. I had it on my Amazon wish list. And I've been looking for a new Bluetooth speaker. You know, uh, I've gone through a couple of different ones. I recently bought a Sony one that I got from Costco that had a good sound, but it just wasn't loud enough. And the biggest problem I was having with it is it had a delay uh, severe audio delay so if you tried to watch a video or a movie or something the lips wouldn't match I've also used a few of the classic UE booms the original ones uh, that they first when they first came out a few years ago and they still work great and they still sound great and really I think the the ultimate ears the UE boom and the mega boom is probably about the best all-around uh, portable Bluetooth that there is but if you want one that's going to be just for your home, you're not going to carry it anywhere, you're not going to take it anywhere, and you plan on using it with your phone, your iPad, or maybe plugging in other sources like maybe a, a small record player or uh, maybe playing cassettes or, or whatever you want to use it for as just a, a general amplified speaker. Marshall. Now certainly you've searched for this, you know Marshall. There's a lot of reviews about uh, the different Marshall Bluetooth speakers that are out there, and I've watched a bunch of them. And one of the things that I thought was funny is that in most all of the reviews, they said that some of the higher range uh, wasn't as good. They weren't that good at playing EDM and rap music. Good. Because people who buy Marshall amplifi amplifiers and Marshall speakers are probably not listening to rap music. These things were made for playing rock and fucking roll, man. They're made for uh, guitars, okay? And, and basses and drums and rock and roll. That's what they're for. The thing is made basically exactly as uh, a Marshall amp would have. I have a real Marshall stack upstairs in, in our jam room. This is the same material, the same piping, the same badging, uh, the same vinyl pebbled leather type material. Um, it's basically made exactly like a Marshall amp or one of one of their speakers stacks would be. You've, you know, and you've seen this on other reviews. I'm sure you've watched others. You've got a nice metal uh, plate here. This is brushed brass with uh, the brass finish knobs. Everybody loves the toggle switch. It's it's a heavy duty AC toggle switch. And you have these other little buttons here. It's just made old school. This is for people that, you know, they've been around music their whole lives. People who play instruments, people who own and play guitars and respect this name. Some of the greatest musicians of all time. You know, I'm a big fan of Kiss and Judas Priest, and even damn big Daryl, you know, you see pictures of him, but, you know, Marshall, and, and even though he endorsed other amps, you know, the bottom line is, Marshall is the tops, okay? And just as they make their uh, instrument amps, they decided that they needed to expand into the marketplace smartly, and they started making these. People are really into this old school retro look anyway, and really, out of all the other retro stuff you see out there, these guys aren't faking it. This is really what they build, and this is really what they do. The crazy thing is, I've been seeing these rumors floating around the internet about, uh, let me get rid of this box here. We don't need a box. I've been hearing these rumors floating around that the reason they sound so good is they actually have tubes in them, just like a real uh, old school amp. So it got me thinking, I'd like to know what's inside this thing. So unlike all the other videos that are out there, I'm going to take it apart. Let's see what's in this sucker. This is to be the part where I fast forward through here. Okay, I've got all the screws out. Let's take the back off and see what we find in here. 
Okay, so this right here is going to be UV uh, amplifier. Not seeing any tubes. There's no tubes. There is, however, some uh, some stuffing material in there, a little dampener. They, they are old school. Put a big wad of cotton in there. And uh, pretty sizable speakers in there, by the way. That's that's probably a, uh, I don't know, what, what size would you say? I'd, I'd have to measure that. Probably four and a half inch, uh, five inch speaker. It says Acton on it. They've got the two tweeters there. So obviously this is a mono system, stereo into mono. Uh, with uh, the two different tweeters. I don't know if the tweeters are acting as stereo, maybe simulated stereo. I'd have to test that out. But um, this is all wood construction, you know. I'm seeing, uh, I'm seeing all this uh, wood and wood glue over here uh, on this side. You can see where they place the antenna. So you've got basically two different printed boards. They've, I, they've made a cool little. Uh, uh, I guess they're taking cues from bows, and they've, they've made this horn here to uh, for the airflow. Here's your Bluetooth card, but no, no tubes. No tubes in there, some basic electronics. Very well made. Uh, AC um, uh, slow blow fuse there, just in case of emergencies. Um, you can see where the vinyl has been wrapped around and seamed. I mean, this is, uh, you know, I've, I do electronics, so I've, I've been, I've opened up a few guitar amps before to do maybe some simple repairs. I restored my old 1955 Rockola jukebox and um you know and that had tubes in it what i could say about this is this is really a marshall amp it's a marshall amp with a speaker just like what they make for their um you know for their guitars and basses and other things and other equipment and basically they've uh, added a bluetooth card to it and they just scaled it down a little bit to make it a little bit less cumbersome i mean you're not going to have a four by four you know or four by twelve rather i should say oh shucks i forgot the uh a lot of cotton. Uh, they wanted that in there. I, I better put it back in there. I was sitting there talking and getting my screws ready and I forgot. So this is just a dampener obviously but this is how they do it. And this is what I love about it and this is the reason it has that classic sound. You know they're basically doing things the way they've been doing them for what 60 years now they've been making some of the greatest uh, guitar amps of all time and basically they're just taking that same technology to reproduce the sound of the music you should be listening to anyway. You should be listening to the music that comes out of a Marshall in the first place and not the stuff that apparently doesn't play well because that music sucks. And you can give me a thumbs down for that if you like. But like I said, the customer base that they're trying to reach, the kind of person that buys a Marshall amp is the kind of person who likes the kind of music that's played on a Marshall amp in the first place. And if you don't understand what I'm talking about, then you just don't get it. You should go buy one of those other beats, pills, and, you know, listen to your shitty music on that. So, I'm going to put this back together. Here's one of the things about this. I have confidence that this thing will last a long time. I have confidence that this, one day, and I know this sounds funny, will be an antique. And maybe coveted in the same way. The same way guys go into music stores and they're like, Oh man, man, check out this vintage Marshall amp head. Man, this thing is the tits. I gotta get this. It's you know maybe twenty years from now in the year, you know, in the year twenty twenty five, somebody's gonna find this in a thrift shop. I'm like, dude, this is a classic twenty seventeen Marshall Bluetooth, man. This is badass. My dad had one of these. <laughs> All right, let's talk a little bit about the operation of it. You know, it, it's kind of impossible to uh, replicate what it's like to experience the sound of something without being there. So, you know, you could talk about it. There's all these videos out there where they, they'll show the Bluetooth speaker and then they'll they'll put up a like a v, you know VU meter or they'll you know a decibel meter and all this different thing. You're just going to have to take my word for it or go out and try to find one of these. Now, it does come with, a lot of people love to talk about how cool this cord is. It's just a, 
you know, eighth inch stereo cord with gold ends, you know, it's, it's very reminiscent to the ones that they used to sell at Radio Shack. I miss Radio Shack. But you know, it's a cord, it's basically a little mini guitar cord is what they wanted it to look like. And it plugs right into the top here. And uh, if you have a iPhone 6 or, or one of those droids or whatever, you could plug it in. Um, you know, I have the 7, so I don't have this thing anymore. But you know what, you don't need it. You don't need this thing anymore. It's kind of cool, I guess, if you want to plug in. Like like I said, you could take a small record player, um, or if you had a cassette deck, if you had a Walkman or something, and you wanted to play one of your old tapes. Or, uh, you know, this one's the Acton, which is the single speaker one. They've got some other models that are a little bit bigger that people are using just as their regular entertainment systems. They're plugging them into their TVs or, or whatever. But I do want to talk about how awesome this thing is at quickly... Um, coming on and attaching itself to the Bluetooth. Let me adjust my brightness down so that maybe you could see the screen. And I'm gonna pull up my Bluetooth here. And I have a lot of Bluetooth devices on here. And you can see where it says, Acton not connected. I'm gonna flip on this power switch. Red light's gonna come on. And I want you to see, look at that. Instantly, this thing connects. Like, it's, it took a few seconds, you know, to warm up. Bang! On! Love it! So, that I'm impressed with. I was playing with this other, that Sony speaker, whatever, the one I told you about earlier. And I was dicking with that thing for five minutes before it finally connected. Once you've connected this thing, bang, man. As soon as you walk in the room, it's on. So, uh... Of course, you know, you can't play any music anymore because YouTube will jack up your video. So I, I went searching for some, um, you know, royalty-free stuff. Here we go. Royalty-free heavy metal music. Hopefully, uh, let's see. Let's try this. So that's pretty good. Let's try some of this. Deep, rich bass. This whole table is shaking. I'm yelling over it. The whole table shaking. I can adjust the bass here, but I gotta tell you, the knobs don't really do that much. See, I just pulled all the treble out. Put it back in. I'll pull all the bass out, and even with the bass down, there's still quite a bit of bass coming out. So that's some slower music. Uh, let's see if there's, let's see, this is supposed to be a little fast. So I also found it to work really well with, um, let's see here. I'd have to try and find, um, I wonder if I play one of my own videos, if, my own video would copyright itself. Only my YouTube friends know what I'm talking about. So if I were to go pull up one of my own videos, let's see, this is a video I just posted of me driving a 74 Dodge Monaco. Oh, that sounds good. So this is me, uh, hold on, I have to adjust the, the brightness. Hold on. 106 miles to Chicago. We got a full tank of gas, half a pack of cigarettes. It's dark, and so, we're wearing sunglasses. So th this is one of my previous videos of me driving my Dodge Monaco. Like the Peter Dunn thing or whatever. Okay. Miles. Let me fast forward it here. Holy shit, that's loud. That was a good example using the sound of an engine because um, that was like really deep, uh, a lot of sound. You know, I could hear the highs of uh, the engine notes as well as the low of the, of the exhaust. I mean, anyway, 
this is a different type of review. You know, a lot of these reviewers, I gotta say, I was watching some of the view videos on these and other speakers, and, and some of these other reviewers, you know, they all are so structured. They have the exact same opening digital music. They have the same goddamn little put together thing of graphics that, that they did on some kind of automated deal that you've heard a million times. Uh, they sound like they're reading everything. Everything is being read. Uh, and, and it's just not genuine. They're just reading the specifications off of the website. And they're just basically blowing the people who gave them the thing for free. I did not, even though I got this as a gift, this is paid for. I'm not getting anything for free. I'm not getting a paid endorsement. I only do these videos when I find something to be either exceptionally good or bad. So, you know, I don't review everything around my house. But if I get something and I think it's worthy that I really want to put my name on it, I got to say, Marshall, they didn't. They didn't do what a lot of companies do. A lot of companies use their name to ride their own coattails and put out a product that, quite frankly, is garbage. That's not what these guys did. They basically got together in a board meeting, I can imagine, and say, hey, how can we uh, you know, find a whole new market using what we already have? They already took the greatest amplifiers and speakers that are in the world today that are used by every rock and roll musician that there is. And they just scaled it down so it fit down onto your table and you could enjoy the music the way it was meant to be heard when you're listening to rock and roll music. If you're listening to guitar music, that music was played probably through one of these amps, through a Marshall stack, with a microphone up against the speaker. That's how they do it. And recorded it. And you're listening to it on the same type of wooden box with a speaker in it <laughs> made by the same people who made helped make that music in the first place that's how you do it it's loud it's proud i didn't hear i don't hear distortion i don't hear uh any muddy uh garbled sound coming out of the bass you know i'm not going to stand here with some like decibel meters and tell you exactly the specifications of uh, 103 decibels at three meters, whatever. The important thing here is that it's well built and it sounds great. So, this is the Marshall Acton. Now, keep in mind while you are searching for these that there are many different versions. And, and you can, you know, I don't know all of them all by heart, but I know that there, this one, you have to plug it in the wall and it stays put. Doesn't have a carry handle, does not have a battery. It's made to be plugged in. I think it retails for 250 bucks or whatever, but you find them all over the place for like, I think this one was 169 bucks on Amazon. They have another version that's slightly smaller, does have a carry strap, uh, and does have a 20 hour battery. I think it's called the Kilburn. I don't know where they come up with these names, but anyway, that one is a portable unit. Just slightly not as loud, which I think is okay. It's only like three or four decibels less as loud and also doesn't have quite the bass note, but it's portable and has a battery and has a carry strap, but basically looks just like this. It's only like a slight difference. Uh, then they have a wider version of this that has two of the subwoofers that's in stereo. And then they have this super granddaddy motherfucker that's looks like a regular Marshall amp speaker, you know, regular, you know, four by four speaker, has four speakers in it. It is a bad mofo. And that one, I think it's pretty expensive. It's, I want to say it's like 500 bucks. And that thing uh, is something that a real hardcore hipster is gonna want. Not if you live in an apartment or a loft or a condo. You don't want that. It's, it's loud and it shakes. It's badass. That's for people who live alone. Uh, or at least you know where the neighbors aren't going to complain. This one you could get away with, and it's pretty loud. I mean, listen, uh, this thing is no. Uh, I mean, look, it, it's let's see here. Let me go find. This is called the Hot Rock Library. Yeah, this one sucks. The 
Let's see what this one is. I haven't played it. Yeah. Anyway, you get the idea. This one's called Best Rock Royalty Free Music on YouTube. <laughs> I wish I could play some of the music that I was listening to. I, like I listened to the whole a whole Social Distortion uh, album on here earlier, and I was just and I was having the greatest time. And you know, YouTube's uh, automatic. You know, they they automatically detect any music that you're playing, and then they destroy your video. So, but I mean, the, for whatever reason, this album sounded so good on. Listen to that. All right, I can only play like five seconds of it, and then the uh, YouTube will block it. Anyway, so there you go. Sorry that the video went on 20 minutes, but that I think that's what happens with most of my videos. It's like middle of the night. I've been up all night jamming and rock and roll into this thing. Thanks to my buddy Omar for hooking me up with this cool birthday present. It was probably the nicest thing I got for my whole birthday out of all the stuff I got. Something I had on my Amazon wish list. Although, uh, I did admit to him that I... Uh, the reason I was mentioning the one about the battery, I actually wanted the one with the battery, which is called, I think, the Killboard. They both look exactly alike. So if you're not paying attention to the fine print, you may order the wrong one. This one has to be plugged in, which isn't necessarily a big deal because I would probably have it plugged in most of the time, but I wanted to use it in this other bathroom back here. When I, I like to take a bubble bath and listen to the... To, to my music. <laughs> anyway, there's not a single fucking plug in that bathroom. It's like this house was built in the 60s. There's no plugs in the bathroom. So I usually take my UE Boom in there because it's waterproof. But, but you know, it's it's the size of a pop can, you know, and it, it's okay. And I couldn't wait to take my mushroom. And I, I was like, holy shit, there's not a plug in here. So I had to go get like an extension cord and put, you know, and of course I didn't put it anywhere near the tub because I don't want to get electrocuted, but I put it up on the counter. I, oh my God. And that acoustic tile in there, it sounded fantastic. I was rocking the house. So again, this is something for somebody. I can imagine this being used in a garage or in a shop or at your home in a plate, like in a room somewhere. I mean, it's just a, it's just a. It's just fucking cool, man. When I see it, I'm just like, I like this. You know, it's the, the texture of leather and this 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 type of fabric and the gold piping and and the the the, the toggle switch and real not real knobs. I you know I'm the kind of guy I like my my Cadillac. One of the things I like about it is on the radio it has a knob. You know they put that in there because older people. I guess I'm an older people now. We like a knob, you know? I don't like push button volume. I like a knob, which I will tell you, I suppose it's a bit of a bad thing for some of you who are, you know, you can control the volume on your phone, right? So on your Bluetooth device, you can control the volume. But otherwise, there's no remote control. There's no app. This is just straight up bare bones speaker. Volume, bass, treble, on, off, source select, right? If you really want to go old school, you can plug this thing in and plug that into whatever you want to plug your eight track into that, whatever. But straight up, and, and that's why I think that this is going to be one of those things. It's going to last forever. It's got basic solid state amplification in there. Nothing fancy. Same stuff they're putting in regular Marshall amps. It's, it's got a fuse. Okay, and I just feel like this thing's gonna last forever. This is gonna be one of those speakers that is gonna outlive the others. Long after the other ones have quit working or, or gone out of style or whatever, for, for since the like 60s, this has been the thing that everybody wants to have. You can also get it in a cream color if you don't like the plain black. I'm the kind of guy I like the black. 
but the cream color is very nice too. Very, very retro. And uh, some of the other models actually come in a in sort of a dark saddle brown if you really want to get real old school looking for. It. So uh, just love this thing. What, what more can I say to it? I guess I've, I've already said all I need to say. Anyway, I'm Video Bob. Please make sure to subscribe uh, and like this video. Please put a comment about other speakers that you've tried out or if you've had any uh, good or bad experiences with any of the Marshall line or, or uh, any other speakers you think I should check out that, that you think is better than this one. But for right now, this is what I'm going to be rocking and rolling and jamming to. I think I'm even going to dig out my old record player and hook it up to this thing. I think that'd be pretty cool. I haven't listened to an actual record in a long time. I don't think I'm going to become one of those audiophile guys. But there's just something about it that's just so nostalgic. The sound on it is just so good. You know, I think that uh, what people cling to with all this nostalgia, I know I was wrapping this up, but, you know, uh, I... It was a nice Sunday afternoon. I put, I set this thing up in my bedroom. I put on a Social Distortion album from 1990, and I just laid there in bed and stared at the ceiling and listened to the record, and I drifted off to sleep, and it was fucking great. And I, rem I was reminded that there was a time where we weren't all consumed with being on Facebook and on the internet all the time, or watching the 1200 satellite channels that we have, or playing a video game. Sometimes, back when I was a kid, you just put on a record, and you laid in bed, and you stared at the ceiling, and you thought about shit. And I think that there's a whole generation of kids that never really got the chance to do that, and they're just now discovering daydreaming. And sometimes you don't need 5.1 digital THX sound coming all around you. And you don't need the world's greatest headphones with every kind of, you know. Yeah. Sometimes you just need a damn good speaker and a damn good record. And the kind of music that you listen to on a Marshall is not the shit you listen to on Beats headphones. Good old fashioned rock and roll. Guitars, distortion, bass, drum, and some guy yelling into a sure microphone. That's all you need, dude. Everything else is bullshit. I'm Video Bob, and thanks for watching.